The Super Mario Bros. Movie is a 2023 American computer animated adventure film based on Nintendo's Mario video game franchise. The film was directed by Aaron Horvath and Michael Jelenic and written by Matthew Fogel. The film features an origin story for the brothers Mario and Luigi, Italian-American plumbers who are transported to an alternate world and become entangled in a battle between the Mushroom Kingdom, led by Princess Peach, and the Koopa, led by Bowser. Plot Italian-American brothers Mario, voiced by Chris Pratt, and Luigi, voiced by Charlie Day, have started a plumbing business. This is motivated by their former employer Spikes, voiced by Sebastian Maniscalco, mockery in Brooklyn and their father's disapproval. Mario and Luigi see a news report about a major water leak and go underground to fix it, but they are sucked into a warp pipe and separated. Mario lands in the Mushroom Kingdom, ruled by Princess Peach, voiced by Anya Taylor-Joy, while Luigi lands in the Dark Lands, ruled by the evil Koopa King Bowser, voiced by Jack Black. Bowser plans to marry Peach, and his plan is to destroy the Mushroom Kingdom using a superstar if Peach refuses. Bowser sees Mario as a rival in Charming Peach and captures Luigi to threaten Mario. Mario meets Toad, voiced by Keegan-Michael Key, who takes him to Peach. Peach plans to ally with the primate Kongs to help drive away Bowser and allows Mario and Toad to travel with her. Peach tells Mario that she ended up in the Mushroom Kingdom as a baby, where the Koopa took her in and made her their leader. In the Jungle Kingdom, King Cranky Kong, voiced by Fred Armisen, agrees to help on the condition that Mario defeats his son, Donkey Kong, voiced by Seth Rogen, in a battle. Donkey Kong is immensely strong, but Mario is much faster. Mario defeats Donkey Kong by using a cat suit. Mario, Peach, Toad, and the Kongs drive back to the Mushroom Kingdom in cart cars. Bowser's army ambushes them on Rainbow Road. When a blue-shelled Koopa general destroys part of the track in a kamikaze attack, Mario and Donkey Kong plunge into the sea while the other Kongs are captured. Peach and Toad return to the Mushroom Kingdom and urge the citizens to evacuate. Bowser arrives at his flying castle and proposes to Peach. Peach agrees to the proposal when Bowser's advisor, Kamek, voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson, tortures Toad. A Murray-like creature called Moray devours Mario and Donkey Kong. They realize that they both desire the respect of their fathers. Mario and Donkey Kong manage to escape Moray by riding a rocket derived from Donkey Kong's cart. They hurry to Bowser and Peach's wedding. During the wedding reception, Bowser intends to execute all the prisoners in the lava in honor of Peach. Toad smuggles an ice flower into Peach's bouquet, which she uses to freeze Bowser. Mario and Donkey Kong arrive and free the captives. Mario uses the Tanuki suit to rescue Luigi. An enraged Bowser frees himself and summons a bomb bill to destroy the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario redirects the bomb bill off course and into a warp pipe, causing it to explode and create a void, shifting Bowser's castle to Brooklyn. As Mario and Luigi battle Bowser, they obtain the Super Star, becoming invincible and ultimately defeating the Koopa. Peach uses a blue mushroom to shrink Bowser and captures him. The people of Brooklyn, including their parents and Spike, hail Mario and Luigi as heroes. Later, the brothers move into a house in the Mushroom Kingdom and start their daily plumbing work. About the film Film based on Nintendo's Mario video game franchise Produced by Universal Pictures, Illumination, and Nintendo, and distributed by Universal, the film was directed by Aaron Horvath and Michael Jelenic and written by Matthew Fogel. The ensemble voice cast includes Chris Pratt, Anya Taylor-Joy, Charlie Day, Jack Black, Keegan-Michael Key, Seth Rogen, and Fred Armisen. The live-action Super Mario Bros., 1993, following its critical and commercial failure, Nintendo was reluctant to license its intellectual properties for film adaptations. Shigeru Miyamoto, the creator of Mario, became interested in the development of the film. Illumination CEO Chris Melodand and Shigeru Miyamoto discussed a new Mario movie, 
and in January 2018 Nintendo announced that it would be produced with Illumination and Universal. Production was underway by 2020, and the cast was announced in September 2021. The film was animated by Illumination Studios Paris in Paris, France. Production was underway by September 2020, with animation work ending in October 2022. Film score by American composer, Brian Tyler, incorporates new musical motifs alongside reminiscently recognizable themes from the Mario video game universe, giving fans an audio warp down memory lane. Jack Black also composed the music for the film. Soundtrack also has several well-known music songs. The Super Mario Bros. movie was released in the United States on April 5, 2023, and received mixed reviews from critics. The film has grossed over $1.278 billion worldwide, setting multiple box office records, including the biggest worldwide opening weekend for an animated film and the highest grossing film based on a video game. It is the highest grossing film of 2023 and the fourth highest grossing animated film. 10 Interesting Facts About the Super Mario Bros. Movie, 2023 1. The music played during Mario and Luigi's plumbing commercial is actually the theme music of the kid show Super Mario Bros., 1989. 2. Designs for Mario and Luigi's parents and relatives were based on sketches made by Nintendo that went and used in games. 3. The Super Mario Bros. plumbing van's logo is the logo font that's been used since the original Super Mario Bros., 1985. 4. The film has grossed over $1.278 billion worldwide. 5. A French restaurant called Chasse du Canard can be seen in the background of some shots in Brooklyn. Chasse du Canard translates as Duck Hunt, another early Nintendo game. 6. Mario was originally named Jumpman in Donkey Kong, 1981, Luigi actually first appeared in the TV ad for the first Mario Brothers, 1983, video game in 1983, played by a live actor. It was the first ad to be set entirely within a game world. 7. Jack Black used Darth Vader as inspiration for his Bowser voice. 8. Spike, the man in blue who mocks Mario and Luigi at Punch-Out! Pizzeria, is actually Foreman Spike. He was introduced in Wrecking Crew, 1984, where Mario and Luigi worked using hammers as demolition workers. 9. When Luigi's phone rings, his ringtone is the startup jingle from the Nintendo GameCube. 10. The Super Mario Bros. movie is the highest grossing film based on a video game. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos and don't forget to press like button and share.